This video shows how to mount an EMEC F4 valve onto a G1 actuator. The F4 valve will be configured as standard configuration with the actuator mounted facing port C. If the actuator is powered up to set it into zero position, first I remove the temperature probe. Then I set it into temperature controller mode by pressing the mode button and pressing the down button. Because I've removed the temperature probe, it gives me an E2 signal and the actuator shaft keyway is 45 degrees to the horizontal for the standard configuration port A is the cold port port B is the hot port and the outlet port is port C For the standard configuration, turn the spindle so that the spindle notch points towards port A. For the alternative configuration, port A is the hot port, port B is the cold port, and the outlet port is port C. For the alternative configuration, Turn the spindle so that the spindle notch points towards port C. Place the graduated coupling on the spindle so that the zero on the coupling faces port C, the outlet port. Next, place the center coupling on the graduated coupling. Mount the actuator onto the valve. Make sure that the notch on the actuator bracket points towards the zero mark on the graduated coupling. Make sure that the 180 degree mark on the graduated coupling points towards port A. Also check that the notch on the actuator bracket lines up with the zero degree mark on the graduated coupling. Remember that the only difference between the F4 standard configuration and the F4 alternative configuration is that the spindle notch in the standard configuration points towards port A and in the alternative configuration it points towards port C.